Hello dear students, I am going to discuss the quick solutions of Akash Baidu's mock test paper. Let's quickly take the questions. The very first question says, which of the following promotes seed germination and inhibits dormancy? ABA stands for abscisic acid, then phenolic acid, paraescorbic acid, all of them promote seed dormancy means they do not let seeds germinate whereas gibberlic acid inhibits dormancy and promotes seed germination. So all of them the above three they promote seed dormancy. So the correct option for the given question is D that is gibberlic acid. Let us move to the next question. Next question says, in light reaction, plastocyanin facilitates the transfer of electrons from PS1 to NADP+, PS1 to ATP synthase, cytochrome B6F complex to PS1 or PS2 to cytochrome B6F complex. So this question is talking about the light reaction in the photosynthesis. If you remember the Z scheme, you know about it that PS2 transfers the electrons to the pheophytin which is the primary electron acceptor in the Z scheme. Then pheophytin transfers the electron to the plastoquinone and this plastoquinone to the cytochrome B6F. Then the cytochrome B6F transfers the electrons to the plastocyanin and this plastocyanin to the PS1. So here we can see that the transfer of electron from PS2 to cytochrome B6F is done by the plastoquinone whereas transfer of electrons from cytochrome B6F to PS1 is done by plastocyanin. So the correct option for the given question is option C which says the transfer of electrons from cytochrome B6F complex to PS1 is done by plastocyanin. Let us move to the next question. This question says that the plant parts which have same ploidy level are pollen grains, seed, ovule, embryo sac, male and female gametes. When we talk about the ploidy level, we have to see whether this structure is haploid, diploid or triploid and so on. Here we can see the pollen grains, they are haploid in gymnospermic and the angiospermic plants. The embryo sac, it is again haploid. The male and the female gametes, they are also haploid. Seed is diploid, ovule is diploid. So here A, D and E, they share the same ploidy level which is haploid. B and C share the same ploidy level which is diploid. So we can say A, D and E they are haploid, B and C they are diploid. If we see the options, we can say the correct option for the given question is option number 4 that is A, D and E. Let us move to the next question. This question says sap wood differs from heartwood in being or having darker in color. No. Sap wood is not darker in color, it is lighter in color as compared to the heartwood. B. Lignified xylary elements. In case of sap wood as well as heartwood, both contain lignified xylary elements as xylary elements are lignified. So this is true for both of them, so this cannot be the difference. C. Tannins, raisins, oils as it is central part. No, the sap wood is not the central part. It is the peripheral part. The central part is the heart wood which does not conduct water and minerals. Now D, it is involved in conduction of water from roots to stem. Yes, this is the function of the sap wood. It is the peripheral part and it conducts water and minerals from root to the stem. So the correct option for the given question is option D which says involved in conduction of water from roots to stem. Let us pick up the next question. Next question says that both the parents of a child have same type of blood group that is AB. 
what is the type of blood group that cannot be seen in that child if we see that parents have the same type of blood group that is ab and ab so in this condition we can see that offsprings can have blood group a b and ab but not o type of blood group as both the parents do not carry the allele for o type of blood group so the correct option for the given question is option a which says o type of blood group let's pick up the next question